Hi, Purple Scarlet Topaz here. You may not know me, I don't know. But anyway, I'm on the Facebook and the, the you know, uh, Instagram, and I have my hashtag, find the answer to cancer. Now, my find the answer to cancer, is it's not about uh, uh, fighting cancer per se, like I see everyone doing, uh, but my thing is more about finding the real or the right treatment to cancer, okay, for the treatment of cancer. And I also see that uh, the treatment or the standard of care when it comes to cancer needs to change because a lot of times the way they do it now, putting those, the, those chemotherapy, uh, uh, those chemotherapy drugs, which, uh, you know, a, a lot of them are derived from the World War II uh, mustard nitrate gas stuff, okay? Uh, the standard of care needs to change. And the reason it needs to change is because the treatment, even as it is, is incomplete, okay? It sort of defies, it goes against uh, the things that we know about the human body, okay? Uh, so, so it needs to change, period, okay? And, and sometimes change is, it's, is what's needed, okay? Uh, shout out to all the people that have gone through cancer treatment, have come out and survived, and that's great and that's wonderful. Uh, I'm happy for you, but my uh, concern now is for the people that go through the treatment and don't survive, okay? Uh, okay, so because see the thing is, okay, what we know about cancer cells is that they do not go through the apoptosis. Uh, uh, they, don't, they don't go through apoptosis, okay? They just keep growing and, and uh, the, the, the daughter cells, they keep dividing and growing and making more and more, okay? Uh, another thing about cancer cells is that they are usually abnormally shaped uh, and they can appear rough around the edges. And the nucleus of the cell is usually discolored, uh, has an abnormal color, which could mean that it has some type of coating, some type of membrane, something on it, right? Now, see, I'm, I'm studying this stuff. No, I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but I have common knowledge, okay? I'm a pretty smart woman. And I've, 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 I've read, I've, I study, I, 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 I was pretty good in science, okay? Uh, and uh, not only that, my stepmother was a doctor and she had this big library of books and I was always reading them, okay? Anytime I went on the weekends to see my father or whatever, um, while everyone else was asleep, I was up trying to read her books. And she was kind enough to always answer my questions. So anyway, so I, I just, you know, I'm geared toward this. But anyway, uh, right now, I am coming out of my comfort zone. I am way, way out of my comfort zone, honey. Uh, but I have a good reason. And, uh, you know, I'm, I was, you know, I'm working on getting my, uh, my website together uh, for my Find the Answer to Cancer. In fact, that's what the name of my website will be, findtheanswertocancer.com. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, there's this little girl, Officer Abigail Arias from Freeport, Texas, and she has a rare form of cancer in the lung. And uh, the doctors are wanting to, you know, put her in hospice, but her father says he's not ready to give up. And because of that, I wanted to go ahead and speak up 
okay? I wanted to go ahead and speak up. And right now, I'm out of my comfort zone. And right now, I want you doctors, okay? Whoever, wherever you are treating cancer, uh, people with cancer, whatever, I want you right now, right now to come out of your comfort zone. Come out of your comfort zone, okay? That's what I want you to do now. Do it now, okay? And I want you to listen carefully to what I'm going to say, okay? Okay, like I said, I'm not a doctor, but some things just might click, okay? Listen, this is what I see that needs to happen, okay? Because of the cancer, obviously with cells running around that don't belong there, that aren't working the way they're supposed to, to, to work, then the system obviously has been compromised, okay? And who knows where the compromise is? Uh, but, so, so the body is filled with, with the, these uh, toxic cells because they're not acting right, they're rebellious, okay? Uh, and so what I see that needs to happen first of all the immune system now see we don't know because the lymphatic system is the system that carries those t cells and 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 and, and it helps cleanse the blood of toxins and all of that okay okay i get that okay so anyway uh what needs to happen is i believe that if you infuse the body with uh the, the 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 right you know with those with uh i don't know some type of serum or, or some whatever it is that uh infuse it with some immune building uh stuff okay okay you infuse the body with some immune building stuff whatever that is okay you know what it is okay uh and, and, and make sure everything, all the levels are on board. Make sure all the, 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 the vitamins, you know, the, the, the vitamin C, vitamin D, make sure all the minerals, uh, vitamin, uh, magnesium, uh, 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 iron, make sure everything is on level. Get that right, okay? Infuse uh, the, the, the body with that kind of treatment, right? And then... Uh, what you need to do is you need to do sort of like a dialysis, some type of dialysis that will cleanse the blood, okay? Uh, and, and, and because that will cleanse out toxins and stuff like that, right? It'll, it'll cleanse those things out. And if there is some type of, uh, you know, maybe in the solution that you use to do the cleansing, uh, that uh, maybe, I don't know if there's some type of solution or some type of something that will attract the uh, abnormal cells, okay? It will attract the abnormal cells and help uh, dispose of them. Okay, you, it'll help get rid of them if there is something like that. Even if there isn't, still the dial, uh, a dialysis process would help rid the body of some of those cells. And it would help to, I think, sort of break it down so that they're not, they, they, they don't have, see, I believe, I don't know, I don't know, but because the cells are abnormally shaped or let's say they're rough around the edges it's easier for them to attach together and attach to the the membrane walls of of of, of different uh you know organs or and and things like that okay so by cleansing it out making it hard you know it's just like the ocean you know if there's a rock sitting there when the ocean comes along it, it it's going to wash it wash it away wash it away a, a little bit at a time okay so i believe something like that needs to happen and also for the fact that when you're putting these chemicals into the body uh the, the 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 organs are having a harder time okay because these organs i mean these uh chemicals are not uh uh what do you call it 
are, are not familiar to the body not that they're not familiar but you know they got to be getting out i mean the, these are uh, some of these are sort of like heavy metals uh, or or whatever that that need to be flushed out of the body and drinking water is not enough okay okay that that's not enough so once that treatment is given uh it, the system needs to be flushed out okay and so that uh because i believe that uh, uh with let's say with chemotherapy the whole system is suppressed okay so and and then once once the 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 chemo the treatment kills or allegedly kills those cells uh then they're just still sitting there in the body okay so then after that you need something that will clean this that system out okay and so i think uh, and and then by cleaning this the system out by dialysizing the system uh that is going to help uh uh unsuppress the system so that the immune system and the organs can work properly okay because those treatments suppress the system it suppresses the immune system it suppresses the the liver it suppresses uh the, the it, it suppresses all of those vital organs uh it suppresses the lymphatic system okay everything is suppressed so by uh cleaning out the system then that's going to help and then uh down the line sort of because you're taking that guck out okay you're taking out the toxins you're taking it out uh then the systems can can work better and hopefully at some level that uh that will cause the uh that will help to suppress the cancer okay it'll help suppress those cells because they're being washed away and they can't actually uh hold on to each other because there's not as many of them okay so that's what i think uh would be uh, a sort of option uh in the treatment for cancer okay uh it's just like okay i know that dialysis is used as a temporary uh measure treatment uh when the the kidneys aren't working right okay and so i i believe that this uh doing something like this will definitely help and that the body needs to be uh like in, infused with some extra uh immune fighting uh things uh that uh will will help uh to 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 raise its i uh, think uh to to raise its level of function okay so that's what i see that needs to be done i believe that something like this will help ariel i mean I'm sorry, Aria, not Aria, Arius, uh, Abigail, 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 Officer Abigail. Okay, I believe that this, uh, something like this will help little Officer Abigail Arius. Okay, uh, you know, it, it's just something that came into my heart, came into my soul and, and, and uh, I have been putting off uh, doing any writing on the subject of what I thought, uh, uh, you know, my thoughts about how uh, cancer, uh, the treatment for cancer needs to change uh, because what I see is that uh, the treatment somewhat, it, it defies the, uh, the, the natural, uh flow of the uh systems related to the human body okay if if our bodies uh 
let's say the, the, the kidneys, uh, the, the, the kidneys, the liver, uh, the, these are all, uh, you know, uh, liver, the liver we know is a cleansing organ. We know that the uh, kidneys are a cleansing organ. We also know that the skin is a cleansing organ, okay? Uh, and so when you throwing in all this stuff that's supposed to help, uh, when you're throwing in the, this, these kind of uh, treatments that you're putting in the body, okay, um, I, you know, it's like, it's sort of like if you wash dishes, okay, you, you, you put the water in, let's say you put the water in the bucket, okay, you put the water in the bucket and, and, and you clean the dishes or whatever, okay, um, but then you have to rinse them right? You're not going to rinse the dishes in the same dirty water that you washed them in. Does that make sense? Okay, so what I'm uh, doing and, and thinking, it's, it's all about common sense, okay? How the body works, okay? Sometimes the body needs a little help if you're going to be doing all of that to it, okay? So I hope that if there's any doctor out there that's listening, that, that you will step out of your comfort zone, zone and really do something, okay, to make a change in the treatment for cancer, okay? Let's make a change. It, let's, let's stop making it about the money and the billions of dollars that uh, you people are, are building up and, and, and the, 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 the patients that you hope to be seeing in the future, okay, because of cancer. And, 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 and let's treat it, let's change the standard of care for cancer, okay? Let's start doing things correctly, okay, because I'm coming after you. So that's all I have to say for now. Uh, like I said, any doctor out there, come out of your comfort zone and, and let's do this, okay? Let's do this. Let's do this right. Let's make it right, okay? Let's stop all the, you know, everyone's a clown right now, okay? F trying to, fighting, uh, fighting breast cancer, fighting cancer. Okay, you see, you see, and you pharmaceutical companies, you see everything that people are doing to try and fight this, or to try and find the, the, the answer, the solution. And I question your research. I question what you're really researching. Okay, yeah, I question that because, hmm, are you really researching so that you know what not to do? You get it? So anyway, uh, let's uh, pray for uh, Officer uh, Abigail Ariel. Let's pray for her and let's do more than pray for her. Let's step out. Let's let these doctors step out of their comfort zone and do something, okay? Like I said, dialysize her, get, get all of the toxins out, use whatever uh, solvent or solution or whatever that you can to help break up the cancer cells as the di dialysis process is being done and, and uh, infuse her with uh, some immune fighting uh, stuff that I know you guys have and, uh, you know, help her to eat and drink the things that she, she needs to eat and drink and, and, and cleanse her skin, cleanse her skin, uh, because we know that the skin is the largest organ on our body and it is an elimination organ. So let's, uh, all of that has to be involved. All of that is involved. All of, see, the thing is, we need a cleansing system, okay? We have a lymphatic system, we have a nervous system, we have a circulatory system, we have an endocrine system, but we don't have what we call a cleansing system. And that's what we need to focus on, I believe, when it comes to fighting cancer and finding the answer to the treatment for cancer. 
Okay, so you guys take care and you will hear from me again. And uh, I don't know how soon I'll have up my website, but I'll be, uh, you know, writing my little blog post about uh, what I see in uh, finding the answer to cancer. And uh, everyone be blessed. Take good care.